Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Well, we've had quite a snow drought. I mean, if you recall, we've been telling you this, 5.1 inches of snow is all we had the entire winter last year. Uh, we could have that by this time tomorrow. Uh, 31.2 is average. This is by all means a major storm. We just, uh, I just heard that the governor declared a proclamation of disaster across the Commonwealth and allows the term plague and those kind of things to set, re re uh, restrict the speed limits. Major storm coming our way, no doubt about that. It develops during the morning tomorrow and midday and it ends by Thursday morning. It's a quick hitter, but it's going to really thump in the Susquehanna Valley. Mostly snow. There is going to be some sleet, we now believe, in southeastern counties. Again, I may cut down the amounts uh, south of Route 30, but it doesn't cut down the headaches. And it's going to come down pretty heavily, too. The heaviest will come tomorrow night. It's going to make difficult, if not impossible, travel. Power outages, I think, are going to be isolated. I'd favor them in eastern counties. That's where the winds may be a little stiffer. Um, the closings and cancellations, you're already seeing that at the bottom of your screen, no doubt about it. So winter storm warnings are up for almost the entire Commonwealth, down in the Virginia, and even in the Carolinas and up into parts of New England. Got the first ingredient, certainly have the cold weather, temperatures in the 30s all across the board. We're generally in the low 30s, and we're going to slip a little more as we go through. Well, yep, the Lebanon Sky Cam, pretty quiet at this hour. Not bad out there up at the Cedar City. But overnight tonight, partly cloudy this evening. The clouds come in, and we drop down into the 20s. That's before the snow gets here, so it's cold. Ahead of the storm, you want the cold. Now, the storm is going to be strong enough to create its own cold. We made tomorrow a, uh, a, a, a alert day. The snow starts developing mid-morning uh, in southwestern counties, and then overspreads the area. Heaviest will come tomorrow night. Here's the first ingredient of the storm. That's the main part of the storm. There's a second storm back here. See the circulation around it. High pressure to our north, that's the other player that's giving us that northerly flow, funneling that cold air down the Appalachians. Storm wants to go up into the Ohio Valley and Tennessee Valley. That's where they've been going. They've been cutting up there, but it's transferring its energy to that storm. That's going to become the bigger player here. That's going to be the nor'easter. You see the northeast winds. This is the heaviest, I think, about midnight tomorrow night. And again, there could be some sleet coming down, too. And then everything gets out of here as we head into Thursday and we start clearing out the skies later on in the day. But snowfall predictor again, everything has been kind of trending a little farther north and west. You can see where the heaviest bands go. And I'm looking at 15 or 14 to 20 up there, 10 to 14, a good part of the Susquehanna Valley, 6 to 10 again, south of Route 30 through York and Lancaster counties. The intensity starts to pick up to a moderate level pretty quickly as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Heaviest is tomorrow evening, then starts letting up. What about behind the storm? Yeah, it's seasonally chilly, nothing terribly cold. Clouds do increase on Saturday ahead of another system, but it looks like just some minor rain and snow showers coming in on Sunday, maybe again on Tuesday. But get ready for everybody to get near a foot of snow.